Yay! Welcome, everyone. Welcome, replay viewers. Here we are at the beginning of our adventure. And guess what? We're starting on day zero. And you'll learn why in a minute. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. The community here is a big part of what's created in the next 30-ish days. And our topic today is, well, for the whole series is about trusting ourselves. So if you're joining, if you're watching the replay, please say hello in the comments. It's always great to have that connection and that momentum. The more that you engage, even during the replay, the more excited I get to share even more with you. So all of your feedback, all of your comments, all of your, okay, yes, this resonates, or what about this, or um, any of the things that arise for you, please share. Yay, Mandy. Yay, Sandy. So, oh, Mandy and Sandy. That's kind of cool. Um, the first two here, and I'm so happy you guys are here. So, Today, we, um, I just invite you throughout the series to, to get a journal, you know, be um, in a place each day where you can have the space to go within, because sometimes we'll be doing meditation, sometimes we'll just be having conversation. There's a lot of different... Um, ways that I teach and share in this group. Sometimes you may even do a writing exercise or want to have some crayons or some markers or something handy to do a coloring exercise or something like that. So be prepared for all the things because we never know what's going to arise each day. And then your questions can be posted in the group or they can be posted just in the comments below and we'll continue to weave those in as we go but today i want to stand here in the place of day zero so this gives us the opportunity to look forward to day one of our 30 days of trusting you. And I love this because when you can stand and see this like opportunity ahead, you actually activate that sense of anticipation. So, yay, hi Valerie. So the anticipation of what's to come. So I invite you to tune in to what inspired you to show up here and what inspires you about the topic of 30 days of trusting you. And it may be coming from the place where you've had that doubt or you've had that feeling of, wow, I did it wrong or regret, like all these things, which we'll talk about that even further. I mean, not that that's necessary to do to yourself. <laughs> that's a choice in itself that uh, probably isn't creating a upward high vibe result if you're beating yourself up or making yourself wrong or judging yourself or attacking yourself or making your choices a weapon against you but this is really looking at okay what um what did bring me here what do i know about me here at the beginning and you may even want to write some things down in your journal i see some more people joining you're so welcome here hello how's it going um 
So thanks for being here. Um, so if you're here, you know, jotting down some of these things around um, what areas in the space of trusting yourself are hard or challenging. And it may, it starts weaving out. So one of the things that we'll, we'll also look at in this bigger picture is the space of trusting life and expanding into living in a way that reminds your body and your being that you're not alone, that you are supported, that things are working out for you, that that there is something bigger, that this connection, even in this constellation of the people that are here in this community with you, that that's part of the magic and the miracles of what's to unfold and the possibilities that are available. And it takes actually getting still and being present with yourself to let that be known. So today at day zero, at day zero, we get to stand here looking at day one, day two, day three, day four, day, all the way to day 30. And we get to anticipate and just even sensing and perceiving right now in your body, just noticing the incremental shifts and awarenesses and ahas and inner changes that are ahead of you. And you don't even need to know what they are. But give yourself the experience and opening up to the anticipation of the creation that's in front of you. And how do you do that? You just show up, you engage, you commit to yourself. And the other thing about that is that when you don't show up, <laughs> if you can't make it to a class, if you're not um, able to do all the days, which is a lot, that you don't make that a reason to beat yourself up. You don't make that a problem or a, you know, less than or a you didn't do enough or any of those kinds of stories that the inner critics like to tell and that you remind yourself that one, you get to go back and watch any of the replays as much as you want. So you always have that option. And two, your body has its own wisdom. So if you're not able to make a class, what if that's exactly what you need? What if that is the exact formula you need? And if you get a sense that you need to go back, then follow that and go back and watch it. So you can't do this wrong at all. So today um, at day zero, I want to start with saying yes to yourself. You already said yes to you by showing up here, by arriving in this class. And you've already, you get a chance to do that even more. So what would it be like to have your own back at all times? So I'm going to share with you a really lovely meditation. Hello, Dory. So glad you're here. I'm going to share with you a lovely meditation to um, give you that chance to show up for yourself. Because one thing that I notice sometimes is that it can be really easy to reject ourselves. How many times have you had an instinct about something or a hit about something or an intuition about something and you've kind of just pushed it aside 
even a desire for something pushed it aside or a truth within you like oh okay i'd like to really say no to this this um invitation and yet i feel like i should you know where you go into the shoulds and the people pleasing and the you know pushing and hustling that isn't really feeling aligned that creates some complaints within your body or in your mind or in your life so those are the moments where we are rejecting ourselves and we think oh gosh you know i don't want to put myself out there to date because i don't want to get rejected i don't want to get hurt yet oftentimes we're demonstrating rejection all day long we're abandoning ourselves or rejecting ourselves so what can this 31 days be to help us strengthen that relationship with ourselves and when we do that then there's nothing we can't create or be or have so that's the power of having our backs and really being able to listen and you know when we're in the busyness of life that can make it really easy to miss these kinds of clues or miss you know the inspirations that are trying to get through and when we're stuck in these tornadoes of fear or insecurity insecurity or worry or thinking we've got to hustle and work 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 then those are other ways that we miss that connection with ourselves and it just becomes convenient because then uh we we can pretend like we don't know what really needs to happen sometimes because sometimes these these awarenesses to choose something different to uh quit a job or get out of a, a relationship or um you know make a change in our life sometimes that can be scary and so this we're strengthening a new muscle or maybe it's not totally new but let's we can make this even stronger even stronger even stronger so that um we know more about ourselves and more about how powerful we are what if and you are <laughs> you are way more powerful than you think no matter where you are on that scale you are more powerful than you think you're also likely <laughs> way less screwed up than you think <laughs> so anywhere where you've decided that you know wow i need a lot a lot of work you know i'm guessing that part of that is louder because of the inner critics and if we have a sense of yeah i would like to make a change in my life i would like to create something different then that awareness is more powerful than any uh pressure or beating ourselves up or any of the other strategies we may use to try to create change so i hope this is helpful is tell me in the comments if this is resonating share with me what you notice about um this topic around trusting yourself where is it the hardest for you um is it hard to follow your intuition? Is it hard to um, date? Is it hard to make business decisions? What are the things 
that are popping for you that um, that make that you'd like to kind of bring to the circle for transformation. Mandy says, my daily choices are powerful. Yay. Yeah. And the cool part about that is that there are no wrong choices. Choices just create and give us awareness. So if we're not making a choice or we're holding back or we're not taking a step into um, our life in new ways that we know in our heart want to happen. Dating's a really good example of this. It's like, ah, uh, dating, what? Like, oh no. Um, if we're not stepping forward because we're afraid we're gonna do it wrong or we're afraid we're gonna get hurt again, um, there's there's probably a lot of information there. There may be an awareness of a part of you that would like some attention. <laughs> Maybe there's a wounded child in there that would like to know that she's safe. There's a lot of different things that can be occurring in those moments. But um, when you make a choice, even if it's just a choice for, and that's not diminishing, and I'll say, any choice is a powerful choice even choices like oh i'm going to take a breath <laughs> i'm going to take a deep inhale whatever it is um sandy says trusting doesn't feel like it's completely aligned it only goes halfway okay curious to know more about what what tells you that what that feels like um if if going halfway means that you're like dipping your toe in the water that's actually a really good topic like what if right now at day zero which is where we are right now right now in our space here that we are preparing for the choice for two feet in both feet in, not just a toe dip, not just a halfway, but what would be possible if we can have our backs in fully experiencing this by stepping two feet in. If we are always having, you know, uh, a way out, then we aren't actually trusting what it is that may be inspired within us so you know what if we can we'll play in this space to see what more we can um develop mm -hmm. to support us in being able to step in maybe it's not maybe it's not right away mm -hmm. there's once again no wrong it doesn't go into the depth like there's a block or resistant and that's okay here and now i still trust whatever i'm feeling awesome okay so let's begin hi nikki yay so glad you're here um so getting comfortable in your seat as we we are here at the beginning and whatever's occurred in your life up until now that we get to kind of draw a line in the sand and create a new beginning for ourselves in how we're relating to relating to ourselves so as you're here just if you're comfortable closing your eyes i like to close my eyes and go inward and if you don't like to close your eyes. You can find a point in front of you and just begin to take a couple deep breaths. And today's meditation is called the yes meditation. And in this, 
wrapping your arms so you may want to just slightly open your eyes to see what i'm doing but you want to literally have your own back and if your arms aren't reaching around to your back just imagining your fingers are have like a foot or more they have these energetic fingers off your fingers and then they just embrace you so like you're giving yourself a hug wrapping your arms around you and begin to just feel yourself breathe and finding a comfortable way to do this you want to hook onto your shoulders however you can to reach around actually having your back having your fingers on your back and with each breath just noticing how it feels to be embraced by you and you may hear in the background <laughs> some bulldog snoring let that be some sound healing to bring you deeper into your practice so as you're here breathing begin to add in the mantra yes so as you inhale yes and exhale yes inhaling and exhaling through your nose you may even deepen your breath if that feels good noticing your chest and your heart rising and dropping inhaling yes exhaling yes And noticing as you're inhaling, yes, exhaling, yes, anything that arises. And noticing that you can't do this wrong. There's no right or wrong or good or bad. And so whatever arises, Just being able to be the observer, saying yes to you in all that is occurring in this moment, whatever is arising, including the anticipation of all that's to come, but also including anywhere where your body or being has some tension noticing and observing all of the sensations of your body So as you arrive here and bring your awareness to your body, giving yourself this space to notice what you notice in this stillness, in this having your back, allowing, receiving, sensing, perceiving, all that wants to bubble up noticing that there's or knowing that there's nothing you have to change or fix but having the awareness of all that is you here and now in this moment
There may be excitement, there may be fear. There may be hesitation. There may be joy or peace. And there may be a combination of things. Your body may even show you images or colors or space. But continuing as you inhale, yes, and exhale, yes, to let your body know that, yes, you are here. You are making the choice for you. And after a while, your breath is just automatically saying yes to you. And this doesn't mean that you have to say yes to the external world, things that you don't want to do or any toxic relationships or or choices that aren't aligned with you this is this is a saying yes to you inhaling yes exhaling yes Inhaling, yes. Exhaling, yes. Having your back. Honoring you. Bringing your arms down gently, but staying inward. As you begin to notice how it feels to say yes to you, to have your back. Thanking yourself, feeling the gratitude for the you within you that brought you here. How good it feels to know that you are not alone, that you are part of this community, that whatever greater energy, spirit, goddess, God, whatever you want to call it, that has brought you here, is working in your favor and feeling the space of curiosity and wonder as we look forward and perceive the next 30 days. And even noticing you today looking forward and letting your imagination give you a sense of you in 30 days and sensing and perceiving what might be different. You don't need to name it or define it, just sensing and perceiving the difference that you be. 30 days from now, from making this choice to have your own back. Woo! And anything that doesn't allow you to be no perceiver, receive that, will you please destroy and uncreate it right now? Yes or no? Just say yes. <laughs> Saying yes to you. Dissolving away the barriers, the limitations, the known, the unknown. 
that keeps you from you. So how good it feels to be open to receiving a greater future. Thank you, thank you, thank you, body. Thank you, thank you, thank you, universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mother Earth and all that's contributing to this right now. Well, on the next breath, bringing yourself back and playing today with your inhale, yes, exhale, yes, knowing that there's nothing that you can't handle that everything is working out for you and that we get to arrive tomorrow at day one. So share in the comments what you noticed, um, what you might be declaring, um, even just posting yes in the comments is a great declaration for you and your body to receive that greater level of trust in you starting now. And we will see you again tomorrow, same time, same place. I can't wait to um, play with you over the next 30 days. So we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Yes, yes. I love seeing the yeses coming in. Keep posting. Let's see some more. Let your fingers type yes. Awesome. Awesome. Sandy says, yes. Felt like I was allowing my whole self to come forward. Yes, you did. Awesome. Great stuff, everyone. Really notice what it feels like now. Notice that. This is really big. Yes to me. Yes. Awesome. Great job. Okay. See you really soon. Bye, everyone.